Hi friends! Welcome back! My name is Adi Gannon of Well Loved Clothing and today you are in my new studio in my new apartment. Well, I should say our new apartment because me and my husband moved to Knoxville, Tennessee. <laughs> So we are now very close to the hometown of Dolly Parton. Bright orange is the color of the city and I am thriving in it since that is of course my favorite color. And I quit my job and went full time. Go creators, go thrifters, go vintage, everything amazing. So check out my store. I compiled a very short, tiny version of that whole move for y'all so you can just kind of see what's been happening in my life recently and why I haven't been on YouTube in a while. Ooh, sorry, but well, here's a little quick clip of what's been going on in my life recently. <laughs> in the spirit of procrastination, I want to dye my hair. So, we're moving to Knoxville, Tennessee! <laughs> Peter and I are sitting at this adorable little like, town square kind of thing. It's called Market Square and it is so cute. Rocky Top, Tennessee. I'm, I'm so excited to be back and doing YouTube. So even though we are a little bit behind on this, we're gonna do a fall 2020 runway trends video because the trends are some of my favorite things. Though I am a huge believer in personal style, I also love the trends for just some points of fashion to kind of hit into and jump into and make your own. So I think trends are one of my favorite things to not necessarily follow, but to inspire. So today we are going to do exactly that and we're going to pick eight or nine trends and just kind of mix them into several different outfits and pile trend on trend and piece on piece because it is fall, which means layering. I am so excited for fall. But we are going to pick some runway looks that were some of my favorite trends. There are so many more that I'm gonna list today, but these are some of my favorites that I could find pieces in my closet for and style up some outfits with it. All right, I'm too excited to do this. I love trends too much. Let's do it. Okay, so our first trend for the day is the skirt suit set. I think there's such a beautiful take on femininity, but also power. There's just so much power in a power suit, but also in a skirt suit. It is the ultimate statement of like, I'm a boss and I'm taking over this place right now. And we're gonna style up a skirt suit look. But another one of the trends were separates. Separates are just pieces pretty much in your closet. It is making your own suit set out of separates. I love the idea of making a skirt suit and playing on that trend, but also playing on the separates trend. There was a quote. I wrote it down because I loved it and thought it was beautiful. The designer's collective advocation for personal style over fashion was the most exciting styling trend of the season. Did you hear that? They're advocating for personal style. How amazing that these skirt suits are inspiring people to take pieces they already have to make an outfit that expresses themselves but also playing with the trends. So I did exactly that and here it is. Goodness, this is all of my favorite colors smushed into one outfit. Play with those jewel tones, a little bit of preppy. We are doing that skirt suit set with those separates. That's a whole lot of S's. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so we are taking that skirt suit and using this jacket and skirt. Almost looks like they go together. This is just my perfect outfit and I am living for this skirt suit trend, especially when you can just take whatever pieces you already love, bring this trend into your closet, and rock your little power suit heart out. So let's keep going with the trends. <laughs> Today is preppy. I love the preppy trend and I feel like there have been different elements of it through this whole year. Back in spring it was kind of that like bourgeoisie sort of vibe, but it's moved a lot into preppy. So the high socks and the short mini skirts and all of the plaid. I love all the plaid. My favorite thing about the preppy vibe is that I don't typically dress preppy, though I love 
boot. So I love blazers and skirts and those matching sets that are very feminine. I think preppy has a little bit of a masculine touch to it, wearing like ties and loafers and just a little bit of a chunkier feel than the normal flowy that I love. So it's a little bit of a challenge for me to dress preppy, but I have the perfect set for it. So let's take this preppy trend and make it our own. If you can say anything real nice, it's better not to talk at all. So this is me from Gossip Girl. Hello, welcome to my new character. Um, I love her. She is the preppy queen. I feel like the most perfect mix of Serena and Blair. The quintessential preppy elements of this outfit for me is this headband and the socks with the loafers and just this checked short set. I just think it is so cute, but also kind of out there. So it's a really fun, playful outfit that is super inspired by the preppy trend, but also pulls from the geometric print trend and the loafer trend. So all of them kind of go very well together when you pull in this preppy look and I am just living for it. XOXO, gossip girl. <laughs> On to the next trend. <laughs> trend number three is scary for me. I saw this trend and I thought that it would be really fun to go after it in this video. It is not one of my favorite things but I'm really excited to try it. So we are going to do an all black outfit with a lingerie piece. So I really don't have a ton of this stuff, but I found this one piece in my closet and it was just all the inspiration at once because all of these looks are so edgy and hard and they have these leather elements and just the strength and power of these women is so good. And so I thought it would be really fun to go after it and try something completely different because I don't usually wear black. They're usually just accentuating the colors or adding a neutral element to color. <laughs> so I love color, but there's a lot of room for texture and that very New Yorker heavy vibe with an all black outfit. So I am mixing the all black outfit and the lingerie piece together to do a double trend outfit, but we are also going to throw in the metallic trend. So I think this one is so much fun to just add some shimmer and shine because then you get a little bit more texture, a little bit more pizzazz that we love here on this channel. And so this is the outfit that I came up for the black metallic and lingerie trend. Oh, honey, so our friendship ceases from now on. If you can say anything real nice. So this is that all black with a little tweak to it because I love me some metallic and I think the metallic really elevates this look. Even putting on this dark bronze boot brings out the metallic in the shirt and accents the different texture of the leather pants with the lace and so I think this is such a great way to do an all black look to pull in that fall trend. Just adding one pop of color. I've been wanting to wear this shirt in basically this way. I've never thought about putting it over a metallic but I honestly just didn't have the confidence to do it but that's not what we're about here. We're about wearing what we love and so putting this on today this outfit although like dark and kind of edgy feels so so me and I'm living for it. We are destroying the all black lingerie and metallic trends. Let's keep going to the next however many we have. <laughs> Trend number four for this video is the romance trend. This trend is one of my absolute favorites. It's just the ruffles and the lace and the very elegant soft girl kind of looks. And so of course, I mean, even this top right now is a little bit of a renaissance feel. So we are going to take that trend and pull it into my closet. And I think I have the exact piece that I want to do, which will also play on a little bit of the lingerie trend. So searching for this trend, I often find ruffled blouses or those high neck collared shirts, any kind of draping or scarf details on shirts, very renaissance. Lace will always be renaissance and you can usually find a really beautiful dressing gown also that pulls all of that together. And that's what I find a lot of times in the thrift stores. So when you're looking, look in the intimate section because that is huge for this year and will so make your closet extremely interesting and fun. So let's go grab that dress and see if I can make an outfit that does this trend justice. Colors are gorgeous and I could not believe how well this turtleneck and this slip went together. So this slip 
is bringing all of those gorgeous romance vibes. And then I have this turtleneck that is this silky, beautiful floral pattern. And it elevates this dress to be even more of an outfit, but it also adds some extra texture and pattern. Pulling from that romance and the intimate lingerie and using that to just inspire this romantic, beautiful look. And also green was all over the runway. So really this is just checking like all of those boxes and killing it in the most beautiful, soft gal look. Very different from the outfit that we just saw. <laughs> it's quite the opposite, but still using that lingerie trend to inspire this outfit. So you can see how many different outfits come from one trend. Just pull those trends into your closet and make them your own. Loving this one, loving the ladylike vibes. On to the next trend. Trend number, I wanna say like seven maybe? I have not been numbering them in my head and I've gone through so many where I've added some extras and so I'm on like six or seven now I think. We can go back and count later but we'll see. So the nude trend. Tans, browns, cognac. I'm really loving that most of them are all monochromatic looks. So it's not just nude pieces thrown into an outfit, which is also beautiful. It's a full nude look. For fall, it's really beautiful because a lot of it is with that lighter tan and so it doesn't play with the typical deep colors that you normally think of. The other trend that I'm thinking of pairing with this one is gonna be the fur coat. It can be a shag or a faux fur or the shearling kind of look that looks like sheep's fur. Any animal texture inspired jacket that looks so good over honest anything. The runways just use these oversized massive like bear hug coats and they're so cozy a whole outfit on their own. Even like belting over the top of it would just be a dress and calling it a day. But the runways did it with such fun colors and prints that I'm really looking for more stylized fur coats than just like a typical fur coat. But I think that there's a lot of room for mixing fur coats and nudes together since a lot of times the furs have those rich browns and deep colors so you can make a monochromatic look. Once again very elevated with different textures. So let's do it. Oh, honey, though our friendship ceases from now on. If you I wanted some drama, and that is exactly what ended up happening with this. So nudes is our trend for this one, so I'm mixing a few of them. I have my cognac, I have a little bit of my bronzy in my earrings, this button over sweater vest, and this gorgeous vintage dress that really just complement each other so well. And I think the length and the volume with the belt bag is just incredible. This also plays on a little bit of that shearling fur kind of trend. It's a little fuzzy, kind of sheepskin looking, so I thought it would be perfect perfect to throw on over this too. So I will probably just wear this today because it's so amazing and I'm so inspired by it. But I love that bringing this neutral into my closet can just be so much more fun than a plain simple outfit. It can really be as big as you want to make it. So I am loving it. On to the next trend. <laughs> number whatever it is. We're gonna call it eight because I called the last one seven or nine because I did two in the last one. We'll see what happens in editing. <laughs> so a trend, yeah, is fringe. I love a good fringe piece and I feel like I wore fringe from age six to 12, just nonstop. Everything I owned was fringe and I was living my best life in it. And so I'm bringing all of those vibes back and thrifting my way to find some fringe. So I realized I don't have very much fringe, but this trend calls for fringe in kind of different ways. So I'm loving the fringe on the sweaters or across the shirt that looks a little bit Western. Proper idea of a blouse with fringe under the arms or something unexpected. So I cannot wait to hopefully find some fringe pieces when I get out and thrift. But for now, I'm gonna use the one piece that I have we will also be playing with some jewel tones and really maximizing this trend with all that fringe. So let's move on to this outfit. Oh goodness, this amazing orange flowy crazy poncho thing. I am loving this for this trend and I also put it over a tan jumpsuit so I thought how fun to mess with those tans too. And on top of that we have the jewel tones with the yellow in the shoes and the scarf and this beautiful rust color to just bring all of those trends home. So this is really just one of those perfect meldings of all of those pieces that I don't think I would have come across or really accomplished without looking at these trends to just get some inspiration for it. So just get into your closet 
and find some pieces you might not have worn in a while and just use them to express yourself through these fall trends. There are some amazing trends. So find your favorites and make them your own and just express yourself through it. I am so glad to be back making YouTube videos. Thank you so much for watching this one. Let me know which is your favorite outfit or the trend you're most excited about below and subscribe to my channel and let's get this full-time business gal going. Thanks for watching. You are well loved. Bye.